which is longer, a single or double bond? The answer is single bonds are longer than double bonds. Here I've got a single bond between two carbon atoms. On average, it's 1.54 angstroms. According to the data I have, the double bond is shorter, 1.34 angstroms. Let's just think about why that's the case. Any two atoms have nuclei. In the case of carbon, it's like six protons, six neutrons, but the nuclei are positively charged, right? The bonds are negative charge. Each of these lines or each of the bonds is two electrons worth. So the single bond here has like two negatively charged particles of glue holding those nuclei together. But then a double bond has four particles of glue that's able to pull the positive charges in closer together. The single bond is longer because you have less glue holding the two nuclei together. Now again, the nuclei aren't literally glued to each other. They have a distance apart from each other and there's negative charge density in between. And the electrons certainly don't arrange themselves this way. It's like a cloud of negative electron density. But the analogy holds. You can probably guess that if you had six particles of glue holding the two positive nuclei together, it would be even shorter. And you'd be right. The I'm looking at a chart off screen here. A triple bond looks to me to be about 1.20, even shorter, because you have more negatively charged electrons between the two nuclei, which can hold them closer together. Same with nitrogen, a nitrogen-nitrogen triple bond it says here 1.10. I'm just trusting my chart. The point is that the higher the bond order, that's one versus two versus three, the higher the bond order, the shorter the bond. So which one's longest? Single bonds are always longer than comparable double and triple bonds. Hey, thanks for being with me and best of luck.